There's a great podcast out there called There's No Such Thing as a Fish, presented by the QILs. Now that title's based on the way we classify things in biology, using their evolutionary relationships. It's called phylogeny. If you want to put two animals into a group, you have to include their most recent common ancestor and all of that ancestor's descendants. So what happens if we want to apply that concept to some other groups? There's no such thing as a whale. No such thing as a fox, unless you accept that that wolf's a fox too. It turns out that these South American foxes are more closely related to the wolves and the wild dogs here than they are to any of the other foxes in Europe and North America. No such thing as a monkey, not unless you include the apes, or call these guys something else. Of course there's no such thing as a panda. No such thing as a lizard, unless you include the snakes. No such thing as a dinosaur. No such thing as an eagle. No such thing as a vulture. The coelacanth, more closely related to me than it is to any other fish. So there's no such thing as a fish. I could go on, but we're applying a scientific system here to non-scientific words, and it's a bit silly. There's no such thing as an antelope though.